WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien. Coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday morning. Excuse me, Thursday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets hanging around a little bit of negative territory on some trade concern news this morning. Right now, Dow futures negative 44 points, trading 27,088. S&P futures, S&P record close yet again yesterday, this morning. S&P futures negative by about five points. We got a report out there by Bloomberg saying that China may be a little bit hesitant on the possibility of a long-term deal. Not sure who that would surprise, but nonetheless, the market pulling back a bit on that news. Phase one deal still in the works, but a phase one deal really relatively light on the details of any really magnificent terms of uh, economic compact between the two countries. NASDAQ futures negative by four points, trading at 8106. We got Apple earnings last night. We got Facebook earnings as well. We have oil negative 70 cents, and we got a rate cut yesterday in the Fed that the market liked trading higher. We're going to start things off this morning with the VIX. Jumping over to the Thinkorswim platform, VIX yesterday as the market charged higher on the heels of the Fed decision. VIX finishing up in about the $12, $12.30 range, spiking overnight to negative 13.30, currently sitting at 12.78. We'll jump over to the two giants with their earnings. How about Apple last night? Spiking to 252 on their earnings. Closed yesterday at 243, looking to open at about 247. Facebook with their earnings as well, closed yesterday at 188.25, hit an even $200 right now, trading at 195.54. You also have Twitter out there this morning saying that they are not going to run political advertisements. Pretty interesting. The dollars and cents of it is they don't take in much for political advertising. So right now looking to open a bit lower on the Twitter chart. Jumping over to the indices, we'll start things off. We'll jump through them quickly. Dow 30, 27,074. You see the acceleration at about 5 a.m. And we'll jump over to that story that China has some doubts over a long-term U.S. trade deal. So that's the headline hitting the markets. NASDAQ 100 trading lower as well, 8106. There's your S&P 500 trading at 3,041. Crude oil trading lower $54.37. If you see a slowdown on trade, that may hit the crude oil market. And how about gold? 1509 in that gold market. And we'll wrap it up. Jobless claims ahead of the non-farm payrolls tomorrow. That number coming in at 218,000 versus 215,000 for the week ended October 26th. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up with Trade What You See. I'll be back with 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Thursday. We'll be right back.